More or less one in four people are infected with HIV here in Lesotho. Um, and it also has a huge prevalence of TB. It's the fourth highest prevalence. 640 per 100,000 people instant cases per year of TB. What we also see is a huge co-infection rate. So of all our TB patients, between 80 to 90% of them also have HIV. For us, we treat it as a dual epidemic. We call it double trouble. Is there's no way you can just treat TB or you can just treat HIV because you've got a patient sitting in front of you most often presenting with both diseases. And so the ideal situation is for the clinician and the system to be able to provide that patient with uh, both TB and HIV treatment. <laughs> I don't know for how long she had them, but and there are some excoriations, so she's yeah, she has been scratching herself a lot. Huh? <laughs> I think mostly from a patient point of view, if I will have to go to a hospital, a big hospital, and first go wait a long, long line to have my ARVs and then go to the consulate to have my adherence counseling and then to be referred to the TB ward with another big, you know, a long line of people for my TB drugs, maybe at the end of six months I will be a bit uh, fed up and maybe one day I will quit. A majority of our mine workers who work in South African mines come back without proper referral back into Lesotho, into Botswana or other countries. So that in itself is a major problem because one, you do not know whether this person has taken medication, how long they've been on medication, whether they've been diagnosed properly or not. Hence, we now are really, uh, you know, we, we are settled with, with MDRTB. And that, for us, that is one big problem. Hi, it's me. Say it's me, a positive patient who is a contact of an MDR patient. Mm -hmm.
it goes home, there's no more dioxin. Mm-hmm. It took category one in 1996 and it was sufficiently treated for the, the child of this child. Mukoti, <laughs> So, and the risk to have a new epidemic around TB, HIV co-infection, is a major risk. And that's why, again, I'm calling for a serious attention to a TB and a serious attention to TB, HIV co-infection. 500,000 deaths are unnecessary.